This is a Queen Mary's College video for applied science on LISA enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. This is quite a difficult topic, so hopefully I've managed to simplify it as necessary. You've come across white blood cells and these are designed to support the immune system, well they are the immune system, removing foreign or organisms. So you may have come across the phagocytes which engulf bacteria and viruses by digesting them. On the surface of bacteria and viruses, we find the antigen, so it's simply a protein molecule. So when the virus or bacteria infect the human body, the antigen is there as well. And the body's response to that is to produce antibodies. The antibodies produce, stay in the blood for a long time and builds the immune system. And the reason for that is because antibodies can recognize and identify an antigen, bind to it and destroy it. There's another representation of the antibodies. They have this rather complex Y-shaped structure. So that Y-shaped structure will be used in any um, diagrams that come along. Here we have a virus with the antigens and you can see these Y-shaped antibodies binding to the antigen on the surface of the, uh, the virus. So this is how the uh, ELISA technique works. The idea is to identify the antigen in a blood sample. And so these plates are usually used, smaller than a test tube, little wells, large number of them, to perform the ELISA test. So first of all, then the uh, the plate or well is coated with the particular antibody which is used to detect an antigen in the blood associated with a virus or bacterium and then the blood cell the blood sample is added which presumably contains the antigen and as you can see the antigen is binding to the antibody and then the plate is rinsed to remove any antigen that has not been bound to the antibody what happens next is the antibody is modified somewhat with an enzyme in order to bring about a particular chemical reaction that incorporates a color change. So these are called enzyme-linked antibodies. So these are added and these bind to the antigen which is already bound to the antibody coated on the well. So again, any unbound enzyme-linked antibody is washed away so now that the enzyme is there, enzymes react with a particular substrate and so a substrate is added and then when, that, when, that su when the um, substrate is added, a colored change is produced which 
indicates the presence of the antigen in the blood. Here's that, that series of steps summarized. So first of all then the antibody is bound to the bottom of these wells and washing to remove excess and then the, uh, the blood sample believed to be infected with a virus carrying the antigen is added and then the antigen associated with the virus binds to the antibody again excess is washed away so we've got the antigen bound to the antibody. So next the enzyme linked antibody complex is added which binds to the same excess is washed away then a substrate is added and a color change will indicate the antigen is in the blood cell blood sample I mean the more color that is observed indicates more antigen present in the uh, blood sample. Usually color intensity indicates the level of antigen present in the blood, but uh, fluorescence can also be used as part of the ELISA technique.